Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use bracket notation to find the nth to last character in the string. You see, we uh, I kind of talked about this in the previous one, so you, if you listen to that one closely, this one should seem pretty natural to you, but I'm going to go over it equally as in-depth in this video. Uh, you can use the same principle we just used to retrieve the last character in a string to retrieve the nth character, nth to last character in a string. For example, you can get uh, the value a third to last letter from the variable set to first name to be equal to Charles. If you do string by using first name at the, p the length of the string minus three. So what's that going to get us? One, two, three. It'll get us an L, right? The length of the string, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus three is four. Zero, one, two, three, four. And that'll give us the L. So we want to use bracket notation to find the second to last character in the last name string. Try looking at third to last character. Okay. Here they've set the first name equal to Ada, and the third to last uh, letter of the first name happens to come out to A. If we go console.log, and then we do uh, third to last letter of name, this will come down to the capital A. So it's capital A. So we're basically getting the first one. This is exactly the same as getting it at position zero. Okay, so this is unimportant specifically. So right now, last name, Loveless. Uh, we want to get the second to last, the third to last letter of the first name. So we've, we're gonna set this, this value, the second to last letter, which means we want it to be a C, which is, will give us the value here. So we're gonna say at the last name, we're going to go uh, first name dot length minus two and at that position. Now let's console.log that, uh, second to last letter of the last name. If we come down here, we're gonna see it's O. So, hmm, first name dot length minus two, second to last letter of the last name. First name. Okay, cool. So I was doing first name. So this was going three minus two is equal to one, which was getting us uh, the, uh, yeah, so the zeroth position is O here, right? So I was going first name, which is equal to eta. That was an error. What I wanted to do is make this last name, and that'll give us the C, which is the one that we're looking for because this is the second to last letter of this string. Um, if we run the tests, you'll see they pass. Um, it's interesting, you want to use length, they say, but uh, I wonder if you could just say, do this, uh, maybe just make this six, right? Would that give us the same thing? Because then we're still at the C. Uh, would they notice it? No, they don't, because they're actually checking to see if your function has the length in there. And so this is what gets it there. And let's uh, look at this in another way. So we'll just call like a variable for um, test and we're going to set this equal to, let's just say, loveless. And then we can say this one, we can say, uh, let's say, you know, set this position to be equal to 1. So we're going to get an O. Um, if we console.log test, this isn't related to this PR, but I'm, or this isn't related to this. Uh, obviously, this is the answer for this. I'm just trying to go through it in a little bit greater detail. So with bracket notation, you don't have to append it to a variable. You can just append it to a string. The, sh the variable here is actually just a representation of this string. And so if we set this, you know, we can say zero, which will give us the L. So we're getting this capital L. I'm going to comment out this um, console log. So we're just focusing on that. And then if I go through, I can just cycle through. If I say that's one, it's going to be L, O, two, V, E, L, a, C, E, right? And this is how just the string indexing goes. And what they're saying, if you console dog log out, let's just, let's try to console log just loveless.length, right? That's going to give us eight. So loveless.length minus one is equal to seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one. And so this is eight. <clears throat> and we need to go minus one to get back to here because we start at zero. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope that this helps. I'm just going into greater detail here. Obviously all this is unimportant and this is the, uh, uh, this is the, this is what will pass the test. Um, and so yeah, we run the tests and everything goes. Hope you guys found this useful. See you in the next lesson.